What's going on guys? It is John the Shed here and today we're back in Bangkok. I haven't been in Bangkok for nearly a year now and it um, feels pretty weird to be back but that's right. I've gotten used to Phuket head a little bit and uh, Bangkok definitely feels a little bit more like authentic Thailand but that's all right. We are going to go train at PK Sencha for a couple of days. It's going to be a little review what I think is the gym. Um, I've heard that it's a very good gym. Uh, one of the best in Bangkok. They've got some of the best people at my weight class for Muay Thai. Um, it's going to be great to train with them. And yeah, I've seen a lot of Aussies go there. They've had great camps there. Um, they've learned some good shit there. They've gotten really fit there. So we're going to see how this goes over the next few days. That was my first session at PK Senchai. Um, had a lot of fun. It was a good environment, um, good people around, good pad holder, obviously. Um, he pushed me real hard, and I'm really happy to have gotten that type of training coming back to Bangkok. Um, yeah, I can't really complain with what I got today. I um, got a good pad holder. Um, he taught me some cool stuff. He taught me little ways to get my leg kick in, um, kicking the back leg, not just front leg, little things like that. Um, and yeah, obviously, if you're going to be here for a long time, they're going to invest a lot more time into you. I'm only here for a few days, so um, I'm still getting I'm still getting good attention on the pads, but they're not critiquing on my like, sparring and all that because they know I'm going to be gone in a few days. But that's all right. Um, and now we're going to see what the morning session's like. First morning training session done. It was a long 10 kilometer run followed by some shadow boxing, some pad work, and a little bit of conditioning, which was push-ups, pull-ups, and abs. Um, it's one of those gyms that you can kind of do whatever you want. They don't kind of force you into doing certain things, which I really like. Um, some people won't like that, and sometimes it's not the best for certain people to be doing that because people aren't disciplined. But if you are disciplined and you've been training for a while and you know what you need, then this is a great gym for you. If you're a high-level fighter, you're gonna have a lot of good bodies with you. Um, and if you just like having your own training routine, this is a great gym. But now we're gonna have a look at the accommodation. So let's have a look. So this is what the outside of the accommodation looks like. And as we walk through here and we have a look at the hall, you can see that there are many, many doors. So uh, you're gonna be crowded. It's, um, they're gonna have a lot of people here because it's such a famous gym. Um, a lot of people come here to train. They've obviously got the ties staying here as well. Um, and the rooms are pretty small. So once we open up this door, you can see that's a really small room. You got yourself a little cabinet here. Um, that's for all your clothes, all that type of stuff. Uh, you got your fridge, you got an air con and a fan, which is definitely needed when you're staying out here in Thailand and will help you sleep better. You got a double bed, which is all right, um, but it is very rock hard. So be prepared for that. And you got yourself a fridge that you can open up and you can put all your food, your drinks and all that type of stuff in there. And here's the bathroom, which is absolutely tiny. The shower and the toilet are literally right next to each other. And that's the accommodation at the gym. It's very small, but it's got everything you need. You got an air con, you got a fan, you got your fridge, um, you got a bathroom. That's pretty much all you need if you're here out in Thailand to train. Now, the only thing they didn't have, which I definitely like having back home, is a TV. Um, and if you brought your PlayStation over like I did, uh, then you're not going to be able to use that. But that's all right because you can buy yourself one pretty easily. Um, just go on Lazada or any of those websites and you can find one for a couple thousand baht at max. 
if you look for the right places. Now we're gonna speak about the food. The food at PK Sentry was actually delicious. Um, the problem with me at Bangkok gyms a lot of the time when the gym cooks for me is I put on weight and I can't get it off and it makes it very hard to weight cut. And that's just what it's like being at a Bangkok gym because they cook in certain oils, put a lot of rice in there, the portion sizes um, are kind of hard to measure. You're either eating so much that you're putting on weight or you're not eating enough and you're not fueling your training session. The food was delicious and I was fueled for my training session, which is perfect for me because I'm only out here for three days. And yeah, I can't complain with the food. It was great. And you get two meals a day when you are training here. And uh, if you're paying for the training food and accommodation, that's what you get. Now let's have a look at the second afternoon training session I did. This was a very good session that we got. Obviously started with a run, shadow boxing, and then straight into pads. You can see that this is definitely a lot busier this time. Last time I was only one in because I got there early, but I got here about 2.30, 3-ish. Um, like I said before, you can show up between 2 and 3 p.m. and then you just grab a pad holder and then you're able to do whatever you want. So that's a good thing about this gym. Um, so after we did our pad work, we did about 45 minutes or so with the boxing coach where he would stand in front of you and he'd held pads for you. Then the next person, then the next person, you were only on him for about maybe 20 seconds and you got about a minute rest, but you went at full out and it was definitely exhausting by the end of it. The boxing coach is actually the Olympic boxing coach for Thailand. So it was very good to learn from him. Um, classic Thai boxing. It's not as good as Western boxing, but it's definitely something that this gym has over the other Bangkok gyms. Same as Smart Pak Rune's gym that I trained at last year. They had very good boxing. This gym has very good boxing. Bang Tao has very good boxing. So that's something that can suffer if you're in Thailand. So just keep that in mind when choosing a gym. But after we did the boxing, we did good clinching with the ties and then our classic uh, knees on the bag and some sit-ups to finish off. There we go. I'm back in Bang Tao now and I'm just reflecting on my time in Bangkok and giving my final thoughts about PK Sentai as a gym. So there were some great high-level ties there, great high-level foreigners. I got great clinching, great sparring, and great pad rounds. There was a couple of pad holders you could tell. They didn't really want to be there. They kind of got frustrated. They kind of just doing it for the money. But other than that, you're going to get a great pad holder. They're going to teach you technique. They're going to really refine your skills. And it's a great gym. Um, if you're going to Bangkok, it's definitely worth checking out. Here's the schedule and pricing that they have on their website, on their Instagram and all that. So it's a gym that's worth checking out. Whether you're going there for a couple of days, whether you want to be in Bangkok for a long time, it is worth it in my personal opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more gym reviews, let me know. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.